Hey YouTube, as you can see I have Windows 7 running on my computer. Not that big of a deal, right? Well, let me show you something. I have Windows 7 running on my Mac. Pretty cool, huh? If you'd like to see how I did this, just keep watching the video. First, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Firefox. If you don't have Firefox, you need it. You can't download Windows 7 without it. Click No. Inside of the video description, there will be a link of where to download Windows 7. Copy and paste it inside the URL address. What you're going to want to do, scroll down, and you have to download the 32-bit version. Select English, click Go. What you're going to want to do is if you have a Windows account, like MSN, Hotmail, or Messenger, you're going to want to type in your email address. Now you're going to want to click Sign In. What's going to happen from here is it's going to ask you for your name and other information. After you're done, you click Submit. It'll send you an email with the link to download Windows 7. Now when you get to this screen, you're going to want to copy down the product key somewhere. After that, click the Download Now link. Go to Trust. And you're going to want to save it to your desktop. When it is finished downloading, I'll come back. Now that it's finished downloading, it'll be on your desktop. What you're going to want to do is, you see how it says .dlm? You're going to want to make it .iso if it isn't already. To do that, right click, get info. You're going to want to delete the .dlm only if it doesn't say .iso already. Then you can close this. Now that you have your operating software in a .iso file, you can search in Spotlight for your Parallels application. Once you find it, click it. And it'll bring you to this screen. You're going to want to click CD slash DVD image. And now you'll be able to choose your operating software that you want to install. I'm going to use Windows 7. So you click. And now click open. Now you can choose continue. Now I'm going to make the name of my operating system only Windows 7. You can name yours whatever you'd like. When you finish, click create and now click start as you can see Windows is starting there's the Windows logo Now you can click next and install now. Now click I accept and now next. If you're upgrading from a different Windows operating software, click upgrade. But for me, I'm installing a new copy so I click custom. As you can see, you can choose a 32 gig hard drive, but I'm going to choose drive options and create a new one. And for me, I'm only going to use 21 gigs, but you can make your hard drive as big as you want. Now click Apply. Click OK. Now you choose your partition that you just created. 
and click next and don't forget the way that you get back into your Mac operating software is you click the control and option key and now you can go out while this is loading this will probably take about 15 to 20 minutes and I'll be back when it's done alright so after I finished installing probably took about 15 minutes you're gonna wanna type in your name and then click enter put in a password that you'll remember click enter you're gonna wanna put in the product key that you got earlier and remember to get out of the screen you push control and option and if you forgot to write down your product key you can just use this one now I'm going to turn off this option and then click enter. I'm going to click ask me later. And this is my right time, so I'm going to click enter. And here you go. This is your Windows 7 on a Mac. The only problem so far that I have with Parallels Desktop is not being able to connect to the internet. To fix this problem, you're going to want to go into Virtual Machine. And if you don't have the Parallels tools downloaded already, you're going to want to install them. After you're done with that, you should have internet ready to go. An example. And there you go. That's how to fix the problem of not being able to connect to the internet. If you like this video, please rate 5 stars. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment bar or you can message me. And if you want to get more updates from Yesway Jose, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and talk to everybody later. Bye.